so don't mind me okay do not mind me i'm just trying things why do i have these in my ears again it's been like four hours and i've been listening to absolutely nothing so don't mind me i'm just playing with you know setups and lighting and i wish i had a professional to come help me with my lighting because i want it to be dark back here and bright on my face <laughs> uh, hey that light that light be having a, a girl teeth looking good okay because let me <laughs> let me tell you when i look in that mirror these do not be beaming like the light said at all okay we need a little twinge in my throat like, I don't want to get sick. Anyway, so let me tell y'all. Let me make sure I'm recording. Okay. Because that's the one thing I can't say. When you think you're recording, but you're really not. Girl, why every time you turn this camera on, <laughs> you start talking with your hands? Is that is that all you know how to do? So anyway. So today, I did a couple orders. I did my favorite order, which is shop only. So you literally just shop the order real quick at Kroger. And then you put the stuff on the shelf and in the refrigerator. And that's it. If I could do that all day long, I would be so happy. But I only did one of those and then another delivery order. And then I came home, okay? Because it was 90 degrees at like 8 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like... I'm not doing that. What am I doing that for? That don't make no sense. <laughs> um, I found me some dumbbells. So I'm always on the prowl at um for uh what's it called? Dumbbells, right? It's like a game to me. I'm like I know I'm gonna find cheap dumbbells and I'm just gonna I can't remember which one. I think y'all see it all the way to the left. Either way, whatever. Who cares? We'll see if there's a difference. But anyway, so I found me two 30 pound dumbbells for $30. Now, if you didn't know that was a steal, that, my friends, is a steal. Oh, well. Because people usually charge a dollar a pound, which would mean it would be $60. Nah, 30. So I got two for the price of, oh, <laughs> one. Which online is probably more than that. I think they may be going for a dollar fifty a pound or so. So I just thank God I was the first one. She listed that thing. I said, ooh, when can I pick these up? So I got me two 30 pounders. That I should be able to take me over. Especially since I'm just now getting back in the groove of things. That should bring me back into the swing of things you know what i'm saying until i'm ready to get back in that gym with the 45 dumbbells you know but i'm still on the hunt so now i got 10 pounds i got 10 15 20 and 30 i think i'm gonna go 35 I i'll go whatever whatever i can find especially if it's for the low low yeah i'm gonna grab it anyway so I figured I could show y'all a few things that I got from the thrift store since y'all be all um, down my throat asking for it. I already told y'all about it and it's nothing spectacular, but it'll give you a little, a little show and tell. <laughs> so this is just, I wish I had more space. When that boy go to college, I'm taking his room over again. So this is a t-shirt. I'm, I'm only gonna wear this around the house. I mean, it could be an outdoor t-shirt dress, but I'm not showing all my goodies. The bow, you know, a little, a little blow of, of the wind, and you're gonna see everything. Here's a little off the shoulder. This thing have no name. It's just, oh yes it do, Zenana. Let me look that up. Let me look up what's, what's, what's Zenana. Zenana. Am I even saying that right? 
I hope I am not about to get sick. I feel like my throat hurt a little bit. Let's see. Zenana. What's the name? Zenana. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Looks like Amazon stuff. Okay, whatever. It's just a top. I'm going to sleep in anyway. Here is a top. It's called, it's by The Loft. Which is just a little, a little off the shoulder joint. You know, got the wide neck. Kind of arm. It'll be off the shoulder and it's a little, a little bellyish. Not too much. Because you know we ain't all the way in that gym. We just, we, we got a toe in the gym. So we can't be out here looking crazy. Now this, every time I see this, I don't know where this come from. I think this might be American Eagle. Let me see. Let me type it in. My oldest told me today that I Google stuff like an old lady. Yeah, mama. Literally. Because it ain't me. <laughs> okay, that is, it is American Eagle. Okay, either way, I didn't know it was American Eagle, but it's just a little cute tank. But either way... It's gonna be probably around the house too, but this soft and sexy is so soft that it's sexy. No, <laughs> it's really soft though, and I really, really like it. So anytime I'm in the thrift store and I see that, I just grab it. Um, this is just another little. I think this is Walmart time and true. It's just another little, little T-shirt. I think it's just a t I think these are t-shirt dresses but these are gonna be around the house dresses because I ain't I ain't gonna show my goodies out in the street it's crazy okay this was a new shirt this is called green envelope some people say envelope you say envelope or envelope envelope let's see green it says Los Angeles so it's from the LBC Oh, just another little cheap TJ Maxx. Oh, wait, here we go. Green Envelope LA because that looks different than the Amazon stuff. Also, it says retail partners, so maybe they get go to like TJ Maxx and stuff like that. Either way, it still had a tags on it, so I couldn't leave it behind. This is blue. Is that blue? No, that's black. No, that's navy blue. My lighting is off. Sorry. It's it's navy blue. But, sorry guys. I wish I was back further, but it's not how my camera's set right now. But this is the back with the V at the bottom and the top. And then, last but not least, is this um, Michael Kors dress, which I didn't realize was Michael Kors until after the fact. But this is a t-shirt dress. Ooh, I don't know how to focus stuff. They like, this This is like too damn right, whatever. So, I thought this was cute. It fits really cute, too. So, but it has this, which I'm not a fan of name brands showing and all that. But it ain't too big, so I was like, whatever, I could, I could rock it. But anyway, so my son wanted to go into Saks Fifth, right? First of all, I've never been in that store. And the reason is because I know that at this moment in my life, that's not my lifestyle. That's not the store that I belong in because it's not my lifestyle, right? So I've never been in there. And we went in there. He wanted to look at these hoodies. And I'm trying to tell him, like nothing wrong with wanting nice luxury things but wait until you can get to where you can afford whatever you want out of there not oh I'm going in here I'm going to buy one thing and I probably never step foot in here again because I really don't have the money to be spending on this kind of stuff you know what I'm saying so but kids don't see that they just see labels then if their friends got stuff they want stuff and not knowing that a lot of these people have boosters do y'all know what a booster is a booster I don't know if I should tell 
Okay. If y'all don't know, then I don't know. You gotta Google it. <laughs> but either way, I'm just like, the hoodie, I thought it was 70. It's actually 100. And that was one of the cheaper things in that store. So, I looked at a shirt. It was a button down. Like, it had a bunch of different colors. It was a men's button. Down. Not button down, but it had this weird weavy fabric. Looked like you wear it on the beach or something without a shirt up under it. That shirt was $795. And, I mean, I really, I, I do want tons of money, right? But I don't ever see myself wasting money on a shirt for $800. Like, I can definitely bring up, you know, my the way I dress and pay a little bit more. But to have one shirt for $800, not when you got to work for your money. Like, the people that just got it and it just comes to them and all of that. No, but when I got to physically put in the time and the hours to get that money, that doesn't make sense to me. And then I was seeing stuff that I used to sell online, like the one that's Vince, the label Vince. It was a regular shirt. It was like $300. And then the other one I think was April and Olive or Alex and Olive or something like that. The dress was like $400. Don't get me wrong. I want nice things. I'm not really a luxury label brand type of person, but... I mean, I could see certain things, maybe like some good luggage, some jewelry that's going to last, maybe even handbags, but just a shirt that's going to end up on the floor in a pile because it's dirty. What are we doing and why are we doing it? We just have to be fiscally responsible. And I mean, I've never been a big spender, but I'm just now learning about, you know, different things when it comes to money and i just don't want to be a spender 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 all the time like this doesn't make sense to me you know what i'm saying but anyway he said he's going to buy the hoodie okay you go ahead and buy your one hoodie but i'm gonna take you down here to air Postal and we're gonna get you what did he get two pair of jeans three t-shirts a pair of shorts for a hundred dollars 115 dollars as opposed to your one thing that you want for. You know what I'm saying? It just don't make sense to me. But, you know, I can only imagine what kids are dealing with in their brains as far as um, the internet and all the stuff that they see online. And they don't, um, they can't comprehend that people are fronting. Haha, <laughs> fronting is old. That uh, people are faking for them the internet they didn't they don't comprehend that they just think everybody's living rich everybody's living good they don't they don't their brains aren't developed enough to understand the other side you know what i'm saying so they think everybody rich everybody flying private planes everybody just living it up ain't nobody going to work everybody just making money on youtube and stupid videos and you know what i'm saying gaming and all that they don't know nothing else but the internet so you can do what you want to do right but once you uh once you uh what's it called once you sorry phone is such a big distraction ain't it once you get to paying them bills <laughs> you know what i'm saying and you got real life in your face you gonna see how you aren't going to be able to buy that um stupid shirt that you want but i mean don't get me wrong you got the work ethic and you can figure it out and you can make a ton of money hey i ain't nothing wrong with that but you gotta, you gotta get there first. Like, let's get established and get some things going first. You know? That's all I'm trying to say. That is all I'm trying to say. What else was I gonna tell y'all? Oh my gosh. It's like, I am, I go to the mall every blue moon, right? 
Because, first of all, they be tripping at the mall. Shooting and stuff. And in the nice mall, too. Because people just crazy everywhere. But, anyway. It's like the whole entire mall smelled like cologne and candles. Why on earth do I smell cologne and candles? I don't understand. I have no idea why everything is so cologne and candly. Candly. But I was ready to go. We were in Macy's. We weren't even, I didn't even see the cologne counter. You hear me? And it was just so strong. Like somebody just poured a whole bottle on them for their work day. And now you just smell it. Then I'm walking and leaving that store. I just smell everything. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't be in this mall. Candle stores. You don't even smell no food for real. Just cologne and candles. And, and perfumes from Bath and Body Works. How do people work in there? Oh my gosh. I be feeling like I'm ready to pass out just walking by. And y'all inhaling them chemicals all dang on day. I would not make it. I would not be able to make it, honey. And you want to know what else is annoying? How after the 2020 stuff, they keep a lot of the doors locked. Like, it's so annoying. So, like, you just, like, a lot of the big, big um, department stores, you know how sometimes it'd be upstairs and downstairs. Well, um, a lot of times, the downstairs door would be closed and you gotta go in upstairs. It's like, why? You, you let people shop downstairs, so why they can't come in and out? downstairs it doesn't make any sense and there's other stores down outside in the mall so it's just ridiculous the things that they've done now and what they won't allow us to go back to but anyway don't get me started <laughs> but um what else did i have oh i made dinner today i started cooking dinner around i want to say 1 30 did my mac and cheese um, that's good. What I had did I do macaroni and cheese, okay. Boil my noodles, which for some reason I feel like the macaroni noodles were so tiny this time. And I had a 16, you know, I had 30, 32 ounce um, box of noodles. I used almost all of it. Like at first I measured off half and boiled half. Then I boiled the rest. And so... I used all of the first half and then the second half I just added half of that half if that makes any sense and I ended up putting that um I used that what did I put in there I used mono no they didn't have Monterey Jack I used Swiss a block of Swiss I shredded um Colby sharp cheddar and smoked cheddar which I feel like I did a little too much. I usually only do half of smoked cheddar. So I can have a little bit of the taste. But I did the whole thing. And I don't really think I like that. So next time. I might not even do the smoked cheddar. But it's still good. Um, What else did I use? Two cans of evaporated milk. One cup of whole milk. A splash of heavy cream. Which I only used the heavy cream because I had it. Um, Two eggs. Half a cup of sour cream, probably about a cup, and a stick of butter and pepper. A little bit of salt, but not really. Put that in the oven. I made baked beans, which was just canned beans, and I added some ground beef in there, seasoned it up real good. Then I did my barbecue chicken. I put that in the oven on a rack, not on the actual rack, but a rack inside of a baking dish. And then uh, um, I roasted those chicken legs. I think I said chicken wings at first. I don't know. Anyway, roasted those chicken legs on about 350, 400, something like that. Then I added the barbecue sauce. And then I left them in there for a little bit longer. I did not make a dessert. I don't know what desserts to make right now. Oh, and plus, remember I just made that chocolate cake and I was irritated at them kids was taking big chunks not not it was the big kid it wasn't the little one because he don't like chocolate but anyway 
And so I really don't be on making desserts when they're here. So I'll think of something to make on Thursday. You know what I mean? So we'll see about that. But dinner was delicious. Darn delicious. I haven't had enough green cheese since December when I cooked for the big one's birthday. Because that's all he ever re requests on his birthday for me to cook and to bake him a sweet potato cake. So yeah, that was dinner and it was delicious. And I already only ate one time. I had peanut butter and jelly and chocolate milk for breakfast. So, which I gotta get off of that bread. Peanut butter and jelly. I mean, I'm sorry, the chocolate milk. I think I told y'all, just cocoa powder and maple syrup. It's so good. So good. But let me go, okay? Because I got stuff to do, okay? I'm just playing. I got nothing to do, but I'm going to let y'all go. <laughs> I'll call you back tomorrow. Smile because you're beautiful. And love yourself because you don't want yourself to watch anyone else. Until next time. Ta-ta.